So what I think those guys have is the guys who make the league is they have a combination of speed. They have a combination of size. Their brain operates at a different level and they are willing to commit the time. You ask a kid, okay, mm -hmm. I want to make the league. You and I have seen so many of these kids. Great. How many hours did you spend in a gym by yourself this week? That's how you know when a kid loves it, right? Not with your trainer, not with your coach, not with your girlfriend, not with you know someone videoing you to put a highlight up. How many hours did you spend in a gym by yourself? Derek Lively, give you an example why he will be one of the, he will be the best player I'll ever coach. He's got a combination of all of them. We play this weekend. We had two tough games in DC at National Hoop Fest. We lose to DeMatha. We beat National Christian. Derek played, I think, 28 to 30 minutes a game. I mean, he's wiped out. We're off on Monday. Get the kids off, of course. My coach and I are not off. We have a film session. So I get in the gym at 7 o'clock. We're down in the locker room. And who's leaving the gym at 7 o'clock, having worked on his free throws? Because one day he was, I think, 2 of 5, and one day he was 3 of 4. He said, yeah, I just needed to get in and I need to shoot 100 free throws um, because I, I didn't shoot them well this weekend. I needed to get, he needed to give his body a rest so he didn't do a really intense workout. But, you know, and he might have made 100 free throws. I don't know. I just know literally there's one kid was in the gym Monday night. And that just so happens to be the kid who might be the number one pick in the draft. Right. Right. So I think there's a level of commitment that, these kids have, in addition to being blessed with so many gifts, what separates them is, is that skill, is that, that, that we teach to the highest level of our kids and we teach to our best players. And that means the kids in the middle and the kids in the bottom will get left behind in our program. So like if you're a kid who I don't think can be that good or is that committed, I don't want you because it's going to be a miserable experience. We're teaching to the best player. If you can be just below him, you're going to be really freaking good. Um, yeah, so I, but I think there's that level of commitment that people just don't understand mm -hmm. what it takes.